accelerate the scoring. And just as I say that, Johnson River sweeps for four. Always some element of risk in that reverse sweep. But a lot of players do play it well. Johnson started to move quite early. Got it right in the middle of the bat. As we've seen, the South Africans play this shot very often. Johnson's played a lot of his early cricket in South Africa. Played for Natal. No! And the reverse sweep attempted. It's not come off well, but he's managed to fox the keeper. He'll get four buys for that. Oh, he takes the aerial route here and he does it in style. That's gone all the way for six. Lovely piece of timing. It seemed as if he didn't try and hit the ball too hard, but the result was very good. I think the plan definitely is for Johnson to try and play a few shots. He has been at the crease a bit longer than and the floor. He has been there almost an hour and a half now. And they have decided, well, someone has to take up the initiative. There he goes again. Just a single on this occasion. So five bowlers used so far. Vikram Singh, the most impressive, eight overs, two for 20. Picked up two wickets against the Indians as well. Just get a single for that. Was as a strong man, strong arm from the deep. And the 100 coming up for Zimbabwe with that single. So the partnership worth 84. So good effort this by these two batsmen. A single but just going back to the last over rabbi when we had it as a five ball over in these limited over games one ball can make a very big difference to the result in these games and i think it has to be stressed that the umpires have to be very careful not just with their decisions okay and have a word with the empire involved there and tell him it's five balls but for the moment johnson has reached his 50 year it's been a fine knock by him. He came in at a time when Zimbabwe had lost some early wickets. Zimbabwe desperately keen to post a decent score here today. No! Well, they have not had that much experience over the years at this level, but uh, a few of their players have scored some runs. Andy Flower and Grant Flower right up there in the 2700 area. In fact, uh, Andy Flower has overtaken his brother today. Three from uh, that one, which just cut away nicely. No! But no ball, so even if he catches it, it won't be out, and he doesn't. Beautifully picked up by Chaminda Vass, very good effort by him, and a good piece of fielding in the end. This is uh, a fantastic bit of fielding by Chaminda Vass. It's very hard when the ball uh, comes towards you to dive forward and pick it up on the half volley like well. He's a left-hander, of course, so he's wrong side and making a very good save. Yes, I was going to say, Tony, I've, I've been watching some cricket recently and I, it really does frustrate me when um, you don't get the catch. You know, when uh, you're watching a game of cricket and the catch is missed or something in the field's missed these days with uh, cameras like that and uh, all these modern lenses, you would have thought that uh, they've been... Uh, when they walked away from each other. Pushing for two again. And they're going. No, they're going to be in trouble here. And that's going to be out, I feel. We'll have to just wait and see. And what a tragic end that would be. This is an excellent bit of fielding. On the move. 
throwing off balance and dead on target. The wicket keeper didn't have to do anything. And as you can see, most times whenever there's a full on hit, it's out. Well, that's a loss for Zimbabwe. They lose their fourth. 173 for four.